Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to be creating our very first page within Drupal. This is going to be just a standard page. It's going to be an About Us page, and it should show you just how easy it really is. So let's get going on that right now. So now that we at least have a basic idea of where everything is, we're going to go ahead and start adding some content. You'll notice we have an add content button directly here on the home page, or you could add content simply by clicking on the content right here. Now we can add content and it's going to allow us to select an article or a basic page. Now you might be wondering what the difference is. An article is more of like a blog post where you have maybe like a teaser on the home page and then you click to get in for more or you click to have more information. An article could be seen as something that you would have multiple of of any given kind of topic where a page is going to be something like more informational and static like an about page, a contact page, something like that. Let's go ahead and just click in the basic page and let's make an about us page. We're going to give this a title of about us and we can just paste in some lorem ipsum. Let me grab some lorem ipsum text here from the first lorem ipsum generator I can find. I just want to get a few paragraphs. So let's grab a couple of paragraphs here, paste them in here. And now we have some text. Now you'll notice that this WYSIWYG is now built into Drupal. This is something that was left out of Drupal 7 and was something that people often had trouble with trying to even get a WYSIWYG into their site because of adding libraries and, and things changing in that way. Now it's really nice that Drupal has a built-in WYSIWYG. It's about time. You can see that we have basic HTML as our format. That's fine. If you'd like to edit the source, you can always click source here. We'll go over WYSIWYG stuff in more detail once we talk about actually editing this WYSIWYG. Okay, so now that we have our basic about us page, let's go ahead and check out some of the stuff on the sidebar here. You'll notice we have our main content right here on the left. We have save and publish and preview down here, but over here we have some information. This is sort of meta stuff. Now we can say we can create a new revision if you want to have a revisioning system, which is nice that it's again, uh, revisions are in here by default now because that's another feature that you would have had to have install a module for before. We could create a revision to allow multiple people to work on this and look at it and make sure that things are okay. That way if we mess something up we can always jump back to our previous revision since this is just the initial creation I don't need to create a revision just yet menu settings is where we can add this to the menu when we can add this to the menu directly within the creation process so if we click provide a menu link it automatically pulls in the title if we would like it to keep it that way and we can say yeah make this in the main navigation and the weight here is going to be where it exists in the menu itself. Now keep in mind, a higher number is a heavier weight. Since we want this to be second in the list, we can always put this as number two. That way we can align the number with exactly the positioning of it. If we want another item that's the third item in the menu, we could have that as number three. Now two doesn't equal second in the menu and three doesn't equal third in the menu. If we were to set this to three right now, it would still be second in the menu because there's only two items. The weight simply just makes the heavier item fall further down the menu. Okay, now we can set URL path settings, and this is alternative URL for the content. We'll leave this alone for right now and just see what happens when we create our page. Again, authoring information, we have who this is authored by. We don't need to touch this because this is information is filled in automatically and promotion options. Now we'll see sticky at top of list and promote to front page. However, we don't really need to deal with these just yet. Let's go ahead and click save and publish. If you wanted to preview it, you could always click preview before. Now, once this content is published, that means it's live on the site. So if you want to save this and remain unpublished, there was an option in the drop down save and unpublish. That's going to keep this content saved in your website, but not have it available to users who aren't logged in. This could be useful if you're working on this same piece of content with multiple people. So here we have the new about us page and here's our text. You notice we have these view edit delete tabs that we've seen before. If we head to a non-logged in version of the site with the same URL, you'll see this is what it looks like. 
We have our About Us page, we have our home page, and here we are. So we've now created our first piece of content and it shows up in our main navigation and you'll notice that we still have this no front page content. That's because by default, this is reserved for articles and they'll automatically populate in here. Now that doesn't have to be the case. That's easily changeable and it's something that we'll go over in the future. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video, hit me up at Twitter or Facebook. If you want these videos for early access, you can sign up to be a Level Up Pro and get early access to streaming this entire series or you can head to store.leveluptutorials.com if subscriptions aren't your thing and purchase the video series before they're released on YouTube. As always, this is Scott. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.